So some of you who are familiar with my channel would have realized that I am kind of like a little bit of an Apple fanboy as well and I've been sucked into the whole Apple ecosystem owning the iPhone, the iPad, the MacBook, the MacBook Pro, the iPad, I don't know, I lost count. So basically, um, almost anything that Apple comes up with, I would try to get my hands on it. The latest being the AirPods Max, which I reviewed in a previous video. So you will see this Apple Watch, which I've been wearing since the start of my channel. And today, I'm going to be introducing a very, very interesting piece of tech from, or rather X tech from Apple, and that is the iPhone 4S in a torn down frame. Take a look at this intro video. Okay, so this phone is technically dead already. It's been dissected. So if you're keen to find out about my thoughts about this particular piece of art, do stay tuned. So quickly, a very quick background on Apple iPhone. The iPhone was first launched, uh, I, well, I don't even remember. That was the first generation of iPhone, which I own. And that's the one with the silver back with the black strip at the bottom. And they didn't call it any number. It was just called an iPhone at the time. And then it came up with the iPhone 3, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 5, iPhone 6. And the iPhone 6 here is the oldest working iPhone that I have in my whole house, right? I tried to find the older ones. I probably either sold them or, you know, gotten rid of them because they weren't supported anymore. And the iPhone 6 is actually technically not really being supported anymore. So they aren't rolling out the updates for that anymore. So after that is the iPhone 7, which I also have here. This was the first version that they came out with a, a highly polished aluminum uh, metal back, which looks very, very nice. But again, it is getting a little bit slow and long in the tooth. I skipped a and there wasn't a 9 and a 10. I can't find a working one around the house, so it must have been sold off. And then it came to the iPhone uh, 11. And this is the 12 mini. And this is the iPhone 13 Pro. So basically, you understand my addiction to it. Now, if I were to look at these phones, um, I'm going to classify them into a, a two different camps. One is those with the home button right where you press and the fingerprint sensor is actually there it worked very very well except that sometimes uh, the button do spoil and you can't get home technically and the later versions starting with the 10 which i'm not showing right up here but this is the 11 the 12 and the 13 they all have face id and they have lost the home button so Basically, if I wanted to, you know, have an understanding of what the home button is, well, I do have an iPad mini Gen 4, which is somewhere around, I think my wife is using that, and that does have a home button, but otherwise, these are the only two phones with the home button. Now, I'm trying to introduce a piece of art, which I've recently gotten from x Riyadh, right? So, uh, X-R-E-A-R-T, X as in, you know, is is X is no longer around. Uh, re as in they recreate the piece of tech into art, X re art. And the version I have right here is the iPhone 4S. And that's the one that has a home button. So let me just show you, if you didn't see it in the earlier intro video, let me just show you upfront uh, what this kind of looks like. Now, the whole tear down, the whole phone has been stripped down from an original working phone. So basically they acquired all the older phones and they started stripping it down. It of course doesn't have to be working, but if you look closely, you might actually see uh, some small little scratches or blemishes, which on my copy here is actually, uh, it, it looks almost perfect. So every single part as laid out is actually from a working phone. Now, with the exception of the battery and this is the amount of detail that x Riyadh as a company is placing on their products now why isn't the battery a working battery because batteries they contain chemicals inside right lithium ion lithium polymer whatever tech they use this is probably a lithium ion battery and 
if left on its own over the years, it will degenerate. It may bubble up and it may release dangerous and toxic gases. So basically, the battery that you're seeing on the frame here, in the frame, in, the, in this piece of art, is actually a dummy battery. It looks exactly as per the original. Now, this is great because it means that this piece of art is actually here to stay. Now, for those of you who are sharp high enough, this was actually hanging on the back of my wall for a couple of months already. And x Art was kind enough to send me a copy of this to be featured on my video. So today, I'm going to give them the credit that they deserve and start talking about this piece of art and releasing a video uh, to extol about how great this has been uh, working for me, how pleased I am to have this piece of art form part of my house. Now, you're going to see a little bit of reflection. I'm just going to try to make it as clean as possible so that you can see what is actually in this particular piece of art. Now, like I mentioned, this is a completely stripped down iPhone 4S, right? The iPhone 4S has a couple of things that are different from the most modern one here. I mean, of course, barring the size and everything else, there are missing pieces of tech that is no longer available in the iPhones of today, right? Which is, like I mentioned, the home button. Now, this particular home button here, right? You will never see this in a new iPhone anymore. Well, technically, the iPhone SE is pretty new and it does have the home button, but this home button doesn't have a fingerprint reader. Neither does the power button have a fingerprint reader. The iPad 4, uh, iPad Air 4, as well as the iPad Mini 5, I believe, they do have the fingerprint sensor, which is built into the um, power button, but this has neither. So there is no biometric sensor in the iPhone 4S, which is the version that they used to create this piece of art here. So this home button is the one that has a particular um, square right in the middle. It just signifies that you press it, it goes home. So this, they labeled it as the home button, right? You don't see that in the modern phones anymore. Now, the other thing that is of note is actually this particular point here. I hope I'm pointing it right. I can't actually see it myself. Yep, here, okay? And that is the headphone jack. So, I can't remember from which version. Let me just point out. Okay, the 13 doesn't have it. The 12 definitely doesn't have it. The, oh, the 11 doesn't have it. I think the iPhone 10 probably didn't have it as well. Oh, you know what? Even the iPhone 7 didn't have it. Hey, wait a minute. Ah, iPhone 6. So the iPhone 6 is the last generation of iPhone that has a 3.5 mm headphone jack. And this is the one that is actually being captured right here, okay? So this is the headphone jack, which you don't see in the modern phones anymore. Now, I would say that the SIM card ejector, the front-facing camera, the, the screen, the battery, uh, it's just sizing differences, spec differences, uh, volume button has changed from a round shape to a uh, the elongated button shape. Now, I'm just going to run through a very quick round, okay? Let you take a look, a close-up on how this piece of art looks. Now, everything is cleanly labeled. Everything is nicely laid out. Every single part, including the logic board, including the tiniest of screws that I have ever seen. There are like two of them and there are four of them. Everything is laid out nicely onto an A3 size canvas, which is then framed. Now, this whole frame here is actually pretty thick, okay? It is uh, slightly over an inch thick and there is some three-dimensionality to it. So, within, beneath the Perspex uh, glass, this piece of uh, frame here, this piece of covering, everything is in 3D form. Okay, okay, let you see how this looks like. Everything is in 3D form. Okay, why is it 3D? Because it is an actual piece of iPhone. It is a piece of history that you are now stripping down and framing it up to put 
on your wall. So for those of you who have been iPhone fans or Apple fans, this is a very interesting piece of art. x -Riad, actually, they do create other pieces of tech which strips other high-tech pieces of equipment which are a little bit older generation. Of course, you know, it will cost a little bit too much to start stripping down the iPhone 13 Pro, for example, which is going to cost like a thousand over dollars today if you were to buy it and strip it down. And it is a perfectly working phone, right? The battery is not dead. Everything is still functional um, it runs current stuff so it's kind of wasteful to um, create this kind of art from a piece of tech that is current and new this iphone 13 pro runs the a15 generation chip the cpu is uh, of current generation from apple whereas this iphone 4s here it actually is running here okay let's hope you can see it is running the A5 mobile processor, right? And this is the entire logic board. So if you have always been curious about what is inside an iPhone and you want it in your hands, I mean, of course, you can go to iFixit or Teardown websites and you can see how it is all looking, um, you know, by just going through the videos, going through the photos. But this is, this is a Teardown that is literally uh, hanging on your wall. So for those of you who are interested, um, I'll put the links down in the video description down below. You can check out everything else that they have. They even have a DIY kit, which you can then start assembling yourself. So you really, uh, it feels like you are tearing down the entire phone to create this piece of art. Now, this is already professionally done up. Everything is uh, nicely put inside, nothing shaking. Well, the Perspex cover actually can get a little bit uh, noisy, but it's a piece of art that you put on the wall and you don't ever touch it. Now, I'm going to find a way to mount this. As you have observed, I've changed the orientation of my studio slightly. I am trying out a new project, which is live commerce, but a little bit more of that in another video, another time. And just stay tuned. Within the next two months, I'll probably think of something else to do uh, with this particular new orientation and new setup, which I kind of need the space all right, for. But meanwhile, if you are interested in keeping a piece of history, this is the iPhone 4S or any other tech that you are interested in, putting it on the wall like a real teardown in your house, x -Riot. That's the company to go for. So I'll see you in another video where I will be talking about stuff that interests me, may not always be related to wireless audio, like this is not related to wireless audio. Well, although it, it does have Bluetooth, so you connect a Bluetooth headset to it, it is wireless audio, but never mind that. Okay, so I'll see you in my next video.